Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and in today's Tableau tutorial, I want to cover a quick trick on how to get row labels to repeat in the Tableau worksheet. So you may have noticed that when values have sort of a hierarchical nature in a worksheet, um, you end up with a situation like this where you have like 2018 and it just fills up all the space, Q1 fills up all the space, and so on. So for a number of reasons, your users may want it to look more like this, where that value repeats on every row, where, you know, 2018 over and over again, it doesn't just show up once. Uh, it might be so that when they're scrolling, they don't lose the value. It might be that they're exporting this worksheet as a cross tab, and it's not doing very well. It's not the format's not looking very good when you export to Excel because they're all kind of summarized like that. So I want to show you a quick trick that I use to get the row labels to repeat. Uh, so we need a field that's going to break up every single row onto its own line. So what I'm going to use for that is I'm going to create a calculated field and I will just call this index. And this is just going to be the index function. Okay, so it's just index, open parenthesis, close parenthesis. All right, so you can read a little bit more about that if you want. Um, I'll try and get it on the screen here. So if you just want to pause the video and read the definition here, you can. So index is essentially kind of like a row number for a worksheet. So in this case, it'll just start counting from the top, one, two, three, four, and just go all the way down to the end. So I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to drag index to the row shell. At first, this is going to look quite poor um, because I don't even know what it's doing. I guess it's just a height of one, a height of two, a height of three. We really want this to be a label at the beginning of the row shell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the drop down on my index field on rows and switch this from continuous to discrete. Continuous gives you an axis like this. Discrete gives you a label. So our pill for index is turned blue when we flip it to discrete. And now if we drag this to the very beginning of our row shelf, you can see it's acting like that row count like we talked about, one, two, three, four, on down throughout the entire sheet. Uh, so now finally, my user doesn't need to see the row count. That's just for us to break the rows up. So now I'm going to hit the drop down on the index field on the row shelf and deselect show header. So finally, I have this worksheet. Uh, the different date values are repeating for every single row. And my user is none the wiser that we are using an index function hidden uh, to be able to do that. So I will link a copy of this workbook from Tableau Public in the description. So if you want to download this and check out how this works, you can. So I hope this helps you solve your problem. And I look forward to catching you here on the One Number YouTube channel for another tutorial next week. Thanks.